here and I'm sure you've all heard about the new Facebook WordPress plugin well and if you haven't heard of it you're going to now um, when I first installed it it looks like it's more than just installing it to get it set up so I thought I would wait to set it up until I could record the video for you um, so that I could walk through setting it up and everybody could see it um, so here we are we have installed it we are on the Facebook for WordPress plugin page and what it wants for us to do is to create a Facebook app for this website if you have done this already you can go ahead and skip to number two I'm going to guess you have not so what we want to do now is we want to go to this developers page on Facebook and create an app it sounds harder to do than what it is so that's why I'm doing the video for you as you can hear it is a rumbling outside as well so I apologize if you hear lots of thunder so we are clicking on the Facebook app and we are going to create a new app over here it suggests when you create your new app that it says my WordPress blog so we'll go ahead and just kind of follow that lead as well sounds like the 4th of July out there and here it's just with no spaces and then you want to click here we'll put in Allie Rittenhouse this the namespace for the app I am going to guess has to be original um, and not already being used by somebody else. But you want to still make it something um, that is fitting too. We'll just put, uh, yeah, we'll just put Allie Rittenhouse site. And we'll click continue. Now I've not set this up, I'm completely doing this on camera right now, live for you, well not really live, <laughs> but kind of. Okay, so we did the CAPTCHA, we created the app, and now it is showing us pretty much exactly what we see right here. Okay, so now the app it says next step set up your app so it looks like the settings below. Make sure you set your app's icon and image too. If you have already an app and skip step one, you can view your app settings by going to back to that. Okay, so you can click back and do them later. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so I think that I've got everything set up as instructed. You can see <clears throat> the display name um, is, you know, from what I set it up as, and then the namespace is what we set it up. And then what I did was I added in my app domain, um, so that went to alishawrittenhouse.com. And then my site URL is alishawrittenhouse.com. I also set up my mobile URL as alishawrittenhouse.com. And now I'm going to hit save. Now let's go back to the plugin. And now based on what you entered in steps two, fill in the correct settings below and save. Once saved, additional options will appear on this page. So... I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'm going to click Save Changes.
And now we have installed Facebook for WordPress. So in the post and page settings, once you have set up your Facebook plugin correctly, you will see these different options. I went ahead and enabled my like button so that I now have it showing up here rather than down here because I didn't like the way that it was working here. Um, I like when you like, I'll show you real quick. I unliked when you like a post, see how this image um, shows up and the box shows up so that you can put in a comment. I love when that happens when you like something and with the plugin that I'm currently using, that was not the case. So I went ahead and enabled my like button using the Facebook social plugin. And you can add all of these different options, the subscribe, the send, um, and the recommend I believe is in with send. Oh no, the recommend bar. You can add these all in very easily without having to know coding or to be a techie genius or anything like that. So that's really cool. And one thing that I want to show you too, you can easily enable Facebook comments directly onto your website without having to have a programmer or somebody very geeky and techy to, to add it on to your WordPress site. All you need to do is click this box here and you can see that now on my blog post, if I scroll down to the bottom, ah, not so far, I now have Facebook comments installed and I can easily post a comment on here um, using Facebook comics, comments and it will show up on Facebook. So this is a huge way to use social networking to spread the word about your website. Encourage people with a call to action at the end of every blog post to leave a comment. So when they leave their comment, it shows up on Facebook. You can see here, I'm going to be encouraging everybody to share their favorite road trip app to leave in the comments below. So you can do that very easily and share it on Facebook. I hope in this video you will share your comments about how easy it was to set up your Facebook plug-in because I showed you step-by-step step in this video. So really, really great tool that you can add on. Um, so check it out. Install, play around with the subscribe button, the send button, and the recommend bar just to see what they are. If you don't like them, you can easily take them off by unchecking or checking the bar. So have fun and play around with it. So this has been Allie Rittenhouse with another cool tool that you can use to make your business a little bit more geeky without having to know a lot of the techie stuff. I hope that you enjoyed it and will share it with your friends. Have a great day. Another thing that I want to show you real quickly before we end today's video is also with the Facebook plugin. It gives you many different options for your plugins and your widgets. So you definitely want to go to your widget section and check out all of the new widgets that were installed with the Facebook plugin. You can see you can get recent Facebook activity on your page. You can have people subscribe directly on there. There's a lot of different things that you can do. You let your user share your content with friends on Facebook with the like button. So check these out, put them into your widgets, um, play around with it, see what works best for you and just have a little bit of fun and realize that you can easily add it on and remove it just with a few clicks. Another cool tool that you'll see under Facebook on the um, on your plugin side, um, you will see the insights. You can click on there and you can get your Facebook insights of how you have interacted with people on your Facebook page. Um, uh, obviously nobody has come to this yet nobody's seen it so I have zero insights on it but once you have it installed you can see the activity on it and you can also keep track of how well this app is doing for your business so this has been Alicia Rittenhouse with 
and 